Hey Slayers, what's up? It is your girl, Tiana, the Swag Slayer, here with you. We're going to be talking about BB and what dropped this week with Buchanan from the Buck Effect. Just so you know, if you've been following me, you already know, but I know there's some new Slayers hanging out here with the OG Slayers. My new name is the Swag Slayer, T-H-E-E, -E, on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and Spotify. I want to call it Shopify, and I was like, that's wrong. <laughs> Spotify. So make sure you make a note of that. So when you see all my good stuff pop up, you're like, oh my gosh, that's my girl Tiana. So we are going to jump into what dropped this week on VV. How are you doing today, Buchanan, before we jump to that? I'm doing uh, fantastic. Can't complain. Awesome, awesome. All is well in the world. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. All is well in your world. So these are the items. Oh, for some reason, I'm at the end of the presentation. First of all, if you are OG Slayer, you already know <laughs> me and technology don't do the business. <laughs> so here we are. So this is what dropped this week on VV. First off, last Saturday, the Murma Cornos, and somebody correct me in the comments if I'm saying that wrong, <laughs> dropped on Saturday. The drop price was $16 in the app. And then all the little prices that you see on each Murma Cornos is the floor price currently in the marketplace. They did drop eight of them. They're all pretty awesome. I have to say that I do have Series 1, the entire collection. And it is my goal to get this Series 2 drop full collection. The one I really wanted was Shark Bait. He's over in the corner, all metallic and gray. Y'all know the OG Slayer is black is my favorite color. Um, when I heard his name was Shark Bite, I was like, oh my God, I have to have him. Because I got this really cute bag. It's called a Shark Bite from um, Spray Ground. It's a tote. It's kind of the shape of a Michael Kors tote. But there's like a bite out of the side from a shark. So it's called a Shark Bite. So I was like, oh my God, I need to get him in the drop. But wah, wah, wah. I did not get him. <laughs> However... I do have five of the eight. I only got one in the drop. I had to purchase the rest in the aftermarket market shop on VV. So as you can see, uh, the floor price of Shark Bite is $495 currently. Whew, I'm going to put him on my birthday list, my Valentine's Day list, my Christmas list, and maybe I'll get him for a gift because I don't know how deep these pockets run if I want to pay that much. But I do want to finish off my collection for Series 2. Uh, be kidding. Were you able to get any of the Murmur Cornos on the drop last Saturday? Uh, I don't believe I was able to. Um, no, I was not. Uh, I wasn't, uh, you know, you know, people, for all the new people who um, just joined our channel or who haven't heard of Vivi, you know, you know, when it first started, you know, their goal was to only have, I think, like 30 to 60,000 users within the first year. Um, and within the first year, their app had over a million downloads. So you could kind of understand, you know, at this point, you know, definitely you want to try to strive to get a drop. But, you know, the chances are very low now um, to get a drop. Um, but if you did, I mean, just looking at the the $22 one. Um, that well, the one that has a floor price of twenty two dollars. So if you have a a really low edition, it could sell for way more. You know, in the yes. thousands. But just at twenty two dollars and eighty cents for a floor price, you know, you're making what six dollars and eighty cents profit. You know, um, well, that's like a one point four x. You know what I mean? Like even even you know someone who got a really high mint is still you know gonna get your money's worth. You know, so. Um, imagine the people who got like what was the shark bite one you wanted to get that's floor price is $4.95 for a high mint, you know, like you're making a killing, you know. You can't you can't make you can't get that in the stock market. <laughs> right, right. And just real quick for the slayers who don't know what a mint is, can you explain that? Yeah, so um every NFT that drops, um Depending on, you know, like each individual one of these, there'll be a certain amount of the same exact one in existence to the public. So, um, you know, that could be a thousand. It could be, you know, three thousand. It really just depends on, you know, 
the licensor uh, who owns the brand and Vivi what they collab and decide on the draw. So Fact. the lower your mint, the more valuable it is. And that just means the number made. So if you have number one, you have the lowest mint. If there are cool. um, 5,000 made and you have number 2,000 because it tells you in the app, then your mint number is 2,000. So just to be clear, because I know we've been using lingo and you're like, wait a minute, what are y'all talking about? We, we like yeah. to break it down for you. <laughs> and what's so, very important is the first 40 of the mints, I believe, or 41 mm -hmm. of any drops um, are actually kept by Vivi to do future promotions for the platform. So um, just to let you guys know that, if you're like, why is there a number one anywhere? Uh, it's because Vivi's holding it for a later date, maybe for yep. contests or whatever. Yeah, yeah. A great way to promote, too. So that was a Saturday's drop. Um, Tuesday, they also drop comic books. So as you can see, the drop price was $6.99 for the comic books. That's typically the drop price for the comic books. And then the other prices next to the comic books are the floor prices. Again, I should point out, um, if you're looking at the screen, left to right is the order that they go in in rarity. So it's common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and secret rare. So as you can see in the top right-hand corner, the secret rare um, floor's price is $825. But this is a blind box drop. And I didn't explain that. that the Murmur Cornos were also a blind box drop. So what you do is you purchase for $6.99 and then you are randomly assigned which NFT you get. So it's blind box. You don't know what you're purchasing. So if someone was able to get it on the drop, which several, you know, everyone who got the secret rares that they released got theirs on their blind box drop. And then the floor price in the market is $825 currently. Yeah. Now for this particular drop of these comic books, I believe it's the first appearance of the Red Goblin, which is the um, secret rare at the top, you know, right side of the screen. Um, and so, you know, that could be, you know, something that you might want to hold long term, you know, if you're able to get your hands on that. Um, and if the price is eight twenty five right now for the floor price, I can only imagine, you know, what it is for a low mint, you know, or what it'll be in the future as well. And so these are really good ones to try for. You have to remember in the drop, again, like Buchanan was saying, they weren't expecting so many users. So it's very difficult to get one in the drop, but try anyway, because you never know what you're going to get and you never know how um, useful it'll be in the future if you're looking to flip that for currently gems. Let's keep in mind, we purchased gems with cash. We use the gems in the store, in the VV um, app to purchase the NFTs. And later, because Vivi is working on it, you'll be able to cash out those gems for dollars. Right now, you can't, but you're storing up, um, like, I guess liquidity is not really liquid yet, but you're storing up value, I should really say, um, in the app with the NFTs. And for $6.99 to try for something, you might as well go for it. So just remember, you you would spend $6.99 six in the Apple or Google Play Store to get the gems. And then you would use those gems because you would end up with seven to purchase the NFT. So I just want to make that clear in case you're new here or you just forgot <laughs> um, how that kind of works. Was there anything else you wanted to say about um, Tuesday's comic book drop, Buchanan? Uh, just just like look at these prices. Keep track of some of these prices because like some of these common, the common version, you know, on the left side, that's $19.95, you know, I remember when the first drop of Marvel Comics came out, you know, and they were $6.99 just like these. And they actually, the common ones might even sold for less than $6.99 in the very beginning. Because yes. people in really didn't market. want the common. So they were selling it back yeah. on the market just to get their money back. To and now the it. price is like $174 to like $300 and like I think $50 or something like that. For some of the common first uh, comic books that dropped, um, so keep that in mind. You know, imagine if you had the, you know, the extra cash to buy ten of those, and yeah. the price went to a hundred dollars. You know, that's it's basically a five x on your money um, per each comic you kept. You know, and that's how some of these um, VV Wells are making their money and and, and keeping their um, or growing their purchasing power in the market. And really quickly, I do want to say, I remember that 
they would make a drop for $16, right? And somebody would purchase it because it was a blind box drop. It was like the, the mini Marvel characters, for example. And then people were reselling them in the market for $10, $12, $13. I was like, shoot, cut it out. <laughs> so I was in the market like buying them because I was like, that's less than it cost. It was like a sale, and, you know. Yeah. Oh, G Slayers. I love a sale. <laughs> so I was like, yes, buy, buy, buy. So I bought a whole bunch. But really quickly for the Slayers, can you explain what a VV whale is? And whale as W H A L E, like the animal. I mean, like in the beginning, some of the OGs who got on the app in the very beginning, which I think was like October maybe of 2019, um, they were buying, you know, some of these. Um, I think like the Batman DC drop that was made by Rizzo. Um, they were buying it for like maybe 20 bucks, 30 bucks. And now they're worth like 20 something thousand, I think, yes. you know, each, yep. you know what I mean? And these guys have like 160 of them. Which you is know? Crazy. So you have to think about that. You know, um, if, if there's an artist that's very popular, you know, for comics that they've made or, or toys that people collect, you know, that, that might be an unrealized, you know, premium you can charge in the future. Yep. If you get it now, secure your position. And that's yep. what these wells have done. You know, they secure the positions on particular drops of NFTs that they know the market hasn't decided its value yet. And they're going to reap the rewards of that later on. Yeah. And so basically a whale is someone who has stored up a lot of value in a certain thing. And so this thing happens to be VV. So anything else on the comic drop before we move on to the next drop that happened this week? Well, also remember, guys, a lot of these people who are selling it in the, you know, the second market, you know, some they are human beings just like me and you. They could make a mistake and, you know, fat thumb a different price than yeah. what they intended. So you might be able to find a secret rare for way cheaper than, you know, what it should be um, sold for because someone made a mistake and you can yeah. buy that and there's nothing they could do about it. Once it's sold, it's sold. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> be mindful of that as well. And also to make sure you, you know, you pay attention and be careful when you're selling yours. Yes. Facts. That's, that's a great tip, Buchanan. Thank you so much. So um, Thursday, they also dropped comics. Again, the drop price is $6.99. These, of course, are all the four prices. And I'm just going to stay off the bat because I know Buchanan has some stuff to say. Um, I'm always confused when they do the comics like this, when the common, of course, from the left all the way to the right to the secret rare is full color. I'm like, yes, give me a full color comic because there is a showroom in your BB that we haven't really talked about yet. We can briefly talk about it in a moment. But like you hang these things in your showroom to display all your NFTs, right? So I'm like, give me the full color, hello. But then they drop like the uncommon, which is the next step up. And then the rare, which is the next step up with like barely any color. And I'm just like, I don't even want that. <laughs> but of course, if I'm looking at it from a making money standpoint, yes, I do want it. But if I'm looking at, oh, I just want to show it off in my showroom, I'm like, uh, give me the comment because that's the one I'm probably going to get anyway during the drop or just purchase for, you know, a lower amount in the store. So I'm always confused on that. But as you can see, this very black, white, and red um, basic alpha flight for the secret rare, barely any color, the floor price right now is $1,000. But again, I was happy just to have a common full color, all yellow, you know, loving it to put in my showroom. So that's just me. Yeah. And, you know, uh, there's a couple of things that go into what, you know, what the market, you know, uses as price discovery, you know, the scarcity of each iteration of that particular right. comic, you know, or variant, you know, so there might be maybe 50 of a secret rare available within right. that drop. So, you know, obviously it's going to be, you know, worth more, you know, depending on its popularity, it could be even worth way more than a thousand on the floor price. Uh, I was surprised to see it you know, go to a thousand on the floor price. I believe the writer of this comic was John Byrne, and he's a Canadian writer uh, who introduced uh, Canadian superheroes in the Marvel Universe, uh, I think for the first time. So that was kind of unique. Um, yeah. I think they did like 130 um, um, er um, series or comics in this series. Um, 
And so, or 130 series or so, something like that. Um, and so, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I just want to mention, I mean, look, the common did almost 6X, you know, yeah. from the drop price. You know, so if you guys ever consider having, you know, a comic book store, you know, I would be picking up a lot of uh, a lot of these uh, commons because, um, you know, just like, you know, just like Tiana said, you know, she's the type of person just likes the most colorful, you know, abstract thing. You know, she's not, you know, really into the comics, you know, compared to some of these guys out here, you know, and so. You know, that's something to consider. You know, if you've got 10 of those, you know, for 380 bucks and they went to 100 bucks each, yep. you know, you made a pretty decent investment, you know. Um, and right now, I don't think the public really understands. They're not looking at these things as assets. They're looking at them as, you know, a speculative, you know, uh they're looking at it as gambling, to be honest with you. But they're not really understanding that art, is always going to have value, you know, it's subjective, you know, to the beholder. So uh, something to think about. For sure. For sure. Because it is true. If you have people willing to pay for it and willing to buy it, then it has value. The, you know, the audience, the, you, you know, we live in the U S here. I know there are people watching all over the world, but we operate on capitalism. And if you have it and somebody's willing to pay an astro astronomical price for it, then it has value. And that, that's just how it works. And that's really how these NFTs work, because a lot of us grew up on a lot of the things that they're dropping. And then our offspring will grow up on different things like the Myrmacornos, like their kids are like, oh my gosh, I want that. And so there have been parents who have actually downloaded the BB app to get their child that AR augmented reality version of the Mormacornos. So that's just something to think about, which I also think I have the full collection of the Unicornos, which is just the unicorn, or maybe I don't. <laughs> I can't remember, I have so many, but I know yeah, Buchanan, funny. you have Ritmo, which was the very first animated NFT on Vivi, which he's a Unicornos. He's got like dreads and he's like Jamaican colored, but he like moves around. He's the very first animated um, NFT on V. Yeah, you know, things that, you know, separate, you know, um, the NFT from others is definitely going to create a premium. Because I think right now the one I have, uh, I think it's worth around, you know, maybe 1800 or something like that. I can't remember yeah. the last time I looked, but, um, you know, think about that, you know. Uh, so like Superman, you know, for the longest was like 200, 300 bucks. Now they're like over 5,000 for yes. the floor price. That means if you have a low edition, yours could be worth, you know, over 10,000. Um, um, and so think about this. When they finally drop an, a 3D animated Superman, that's going to be worth a lot of money. Yeah, because um, our super, the Superman I have, and the Superman you have, we're talking about the same one. He was one in his collection. So he was one there was not like like here on the screen there are five in this collection he was just one he was not animated he is metallic though he fired but when he gets the animated one that is going to be worth way more because people want to be able to move around with them in the augmented reality which brings us to saturday's drop which is in um invisible woman and you could tell that um it says animated here for the ultra rare and the secret rare. The rest of them are just stagnant, but those two are animated. The floor, the drop price is $50. That's why it just says $50 on the screen. It hasn't dropped yet. So we, we won't know the floor price until like an hour or so after the drop um, to see what people are relisting them for if they got them in the drop. So you definitely want to get your VV fingers ready to hit that buy now button so you could try to get yourself one of these. I always suggest that you purchase your gems ahead of time. However, you don't have to do that. You don't have to pre-purchase your gems in the app store. You can just make the purchase then, but let's just be yeah. 100. These NFTs sell out in seconds because there are way more people trying to buy them. <laughs> no, there no, are no. NFTs let's available. This up. I wouldn't say seconds. One second. <laughs> one, <laughs> one second. It will Uno sell out. Segundo. <laughs> and yes. honestly, $50 uh, for a secret rare and ultra rare um, animated um, character, I think is really cheap because uh, normally yeah. 
they would probably sell those for a few hundred dollars on yes. the drop itself. Yes. Um, it's not a first appearance of a visible woman, but um, it's still a visible woman in an animated format for the first time. You yes. know, she can move and stuff like that. So I, I definitely would try to get my hands on, a, on an ultra rare or secret rare um, and hold that long term. Well, I at least buy three of them. You know, one for myself, you know, one to flip, um, and one maybe to trade, you know, um, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. And that's something to keep in mind because you got to remember, you're not going to be able to get them all. And you might want to think about rebuying it in the app store because not the app store, I'm sorry, I meant the market, the VB market where you can repurchase them because they could become more valuable in the future. So those are always things to consider. We're just here to open up your mind, tell you about what's going on, letting you know all about BB. Like we are hyped up on BB. Let's just be 100. We're going to talk about BB a whole bunch of times here on Best Flag Slayer channel. So if you want to know more about BB, you're interested in BB, if you have questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. We're always happy to answer those. You can always hit me up on Instagram at the Swag Slayer. And I'm happy um, to answer questions there as well. But of course, we put it in a audio video format. That's always best because I know we're all busy. We don't always have time to read. If you are watching, listening to this on the podcast, this is really one you want to come over to YouTube and take a look at what's going on on the screen. Because I know we said a lot of things like, look at the screen here, look at the screen there. But I understand you might be driving and so you listen to it on the podcast, but definitely check it out. It's the same um, for the podcast, The Swag Slayer. It's the same on YouTube, The Swag Slayer. Definitely, if you haven't signed up your 5 to 18-year-old in the Swag Slayer Young Entrepreneurship class, you can do that over at SwagSlayer.com. The next class starts on March 5th, 2022. So definitely make sure that you are connecting with that so you can open your little one's brains. This month, we are talking about how the children can invest in different projects while making money to grow their wealth for the future. And BB is one of the things that we are talking about in the class where they'll be able to, with their parents' permission, of course, set up the app and then be able to use the money that they have learned how to make doing other projects to purchase NFTs and then flip them later. You can, is there anything else you want to tell the Slayers before we close out for that day? Uh, just, just remember, guys, you know, if wherever there's demand, you know, there's money to be made. And I think there's going to be a lot of demand for this new technology and try to take advantage of that and better yourself and better your family. Yes, I 100% agree. So with that, we are going to head out. I want to thank you Slayers for coming to hang out with us today and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.